الحمد لله الحمد لله كالذي نقول وخيرا مما نقول أحسن كل شيء خلقه فالكل بالعناية مشمول أعطى كل شيء خلقه وكل أمر إليه موكول له في كل أمر حكمة وإن ذهلت عنها العقول نحمده تبارك وتعالى حمدا هو بالثناء عليه موصول ونرجوه العصبة من الحرام في كل مشروب ومأكول وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله الحي الذي لا يموت ولا يزول شهد لنفسه بالوحدانية وشهد له الملائكة والعدول لا يسأل عما يفعل وكل من عداه مسؤول لا يشغله شأن عن شأن وغيره عن شأنه مشغول لا يرد سائلا ودعاء الصالحين لديه مقبول وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله دعوة الخليل وقرة عين إسماعيل وبشرة البطول شفي المريض بريقه وبلمسه نشط القصول قالت الأعراب والكهان بالظن فإذا هو بالوحي يقول له المقام الأوحد وقد أصاب المقربين خمول أنا لها أنا لها له مقالة ونفسي ثم نفسي كل الأنبياء تقول اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأتقياء البررة وعلى من هذا هذوهم وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد My dear brother My dear sister Just believe Just believe Believe in what? And believe in who? Believe in him I repeat, just believe. Believe in who? Believe in him. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنَّكَ تَرَى الْأَرْضَ خَاشِعًا فَإِذَا أَنْزَلْنَا عَلَيْهَا الْمَاءَ اهْتَزَّتْ وَرَبَتْ إن الذي أحياها لمحي الموتى. Yes. It's among his signs and among his signs and among his signs is that you will see a land, the earth, barren, plain, dead. فإذا أنزلنا عليها الماء اهتزت and when we send water onto it اهتزت it shakes it stirs وربت وأنبتت اهتزت وربت you will see that it shakes it stirs and now you will see the vegetations, you will see the crops, you will see the greens, you will see the fruits. When before it was dead, listen to Allah. So now wake up and listen. You see the one who gave life to that dead land? Will indeed, no doubt about it, give life to the dead after death. 
إِنَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ Yes, indeed, absolutely. He has power over everything. So just believe. Yes, believe. If you are sick, you are not well. Brother, just believe in him. The one who gave life to that dead land and the one who will give life to the dead can make you well again. Just believe in him. He is Allah. If you are poor, believe in him. The one who gave life to that land, yes, can, can make you whatever you want to be. Just believe in him. He is one. He is the only one and he deserves to be worshipped. I bear witness. And I bear witness. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Allah's last and the final messenger of Allah. Brother, we are talking about the Prophet. So before we continue from where we start, take a gift from Rasulullah. Uh -uh. I'm not going to give you the gift if I don't hear it. Take a gift from Rasulullah. MashaAllah. Brothers and sisters, Ibn Abbas narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the time of distress used to say, La ilaha illallah al-azim al-halim. La ilaha illallah rabbu al-arsh al-azim. لا إله إلا الله رب السماوات ورب الأرض ورب العرش الكريم. memorize it. say it. it is a gift from the Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم. whenever you are in distress, you are not feeling well. things are not moving the way it's supposed to be. make this your ذكر. لا إله إلا الله العظيم الحليم. لا إله إلا الله رب العرش العظيم لا إله إلا الله رب السماوات ورب الأرض ورب العرش الكريم This is a gift from Rasulullah I bear witness He is the last and the final messenger of Allah My dear brothers and sisters in Islam Last week The continuation of our khutbah هل تعرف الرسول Do you know the messenger? We stopped at a point where we said the word verses came and took our beloved Prophet Muhammad, Halima, Sa'diyah. And we said, if you remember last week, that's where we start, when she plays our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on her weak camel, on her weak donkey. The donkey started walking faster and now it is waiting for the rest of the donkeys. Ya Halima, Halima, is this your weak donkey? Naam wallah, laqad hamaltu alayha gulam al I just placed a blessed baby on top of it. I just placed a blessed baby on it. This is the blessings of Muhammad. This is the first blessing Halima saw. And she knew that something is going to happen. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Halima, like I told you last week, was very poor. So it's even hard for her to get the milk to feed her son, her infant. But when she took Muhammad, her breast milk became ample. She will feed her infant and the messenger of Allah until they were all full this is the second baraka they had her husband had a widow coming which they had lost hope on and this camel, when Muhammad reached the house, when they came back, they went back to their village. And Muhammad now is in the house. Blessings is in the house because Muhammad is in the house. You know that. Right there, that week, camel started gaining weight and began to produce more milk. What was going on here? This is the blessings of Muhammad. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, of course, yes, don't be surprised. He is the last and the final messenger of Allah. 
So, we continue quickly. And brothers, please forgive me if you were here from the beginning of the khutbah like two weeks ago. I said, when it comes to this, when it comes to the Prophet Sallallahu you just say what you can and leave the rest because he is Muhammad. You can never say it all. And due to the time, we will be skipping some stuff. But believe me, a lot happened. Yes. My brothers, after two years, while enjoying his blessings of Muhammad, it was a promise that after two years, you should take the baby back to his parents, which she did. When she took the baby back to Amina, she convinced Amina, if you will give me a chance, I would like to take him back, to take good care of him, to, you know, to take care of him more. She knows what, she's, what she wants, and she knows what's happening over there. So she convinced his mother, and the mother agreed. So she took our beloved Prophet Muhammad back again. She, you know, enjoying the blessings of his presence. And my dear brothers, one day, her son ran to her and said, My Quraishi brother is unconscious. Something happened to him. So what happened? They run. Her and her husband, they came and they found the Prophet said, What happened to you? He said, two men came, they grabbed me, and they opened my chest, and they removed my heart. They washed it, they removed something black from my chest, and they threw it away. They said, this is the part of shaitan in you, and they put it back. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is strange. What happened? You know, the, the mother, so Halima, she opened his chest to see, and the stitching were still present. Uh, and when she saw that she said I have to return this baby back I'm scared I don't want anything to happen to him brothers and sisters she took the prophet وسلم, back to his mother Amina after four years when he was four so the prophet وسلم, was with his mother at the age of six when he was six she took him to Medina to visit the family some of their families. On her, on her way back, she fell sick and she died. Subhanallah. Now Muhammad is without a father and mother, the orphan. So his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, took him. After the death of his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, his uncle, Abu Talib, took him, taking care of him. Brother, my sister, a lot happened, but one day, his uncle Abu Talib took him on a business trip to Syria. When they reached Busra, they met a monk, Buhaira. When he looked at the prophet carefully, he said, whose son is this? Abu Talib said, it's my son. He said, no, are you his biological father? He said, no, I'm not. He said, I knew it. His, he said, he is my brother's son. He said, I know it. His father is dead. Uh -huh. When he looked at him carefully, he said, this is him. I'm going to advise you. I want you to take him back to Mecca. Because if the Jews know about him, they will harm him. Do you know why? Because they know about him. They read about him in their scriptures. That's why Allah said, وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ نَبَذَ فَرِيقٌ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَرَاءَ ظُهُورِهِمْ كَأَنَّهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ When the messenger of Allah came and they knew, they knew everything about him, they know everything about him, they knew he was coming, Allah said when he came, they acted as if they don't know. They acted as if they did not know. So brothers and sisters, it happened. And in his twenties, he started working, working for a woman, a lady, well respected in Mecca by the name Khadija, the daughter of Khawainid. Khadija. 
She was called also at Tahira, the pure one. Khadija, she was also she was the princess of the merchants. She was very rich, well respected in the community. She was a widow. So what happened? He started working for her. So you see, the best creation on earth. <laughs> yes, this is a sign, and if not because of the time, we can take many lessons here. That yes, you should work and also always look for your halal, never go for haram. My brothers and sisters, sometimes she will send them, and one day she sent him and one of her workers, one of her workers by the name Maisara, on a business trip. When they came back, the business was so productive and they earned a lot. And my son I told Khadija, if I will tell you what I saw about this man, whenever we are walking, if you look what is following us, <laughs> and when the monks, when they meet us, what they say about us, there is something great about this man. When he told her that, and he, she, he told her about the honest, the honesty of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was so honest. She started thinking, I wish this man could be my husband. And brothers and sisters, yes, Allah decree. Later, he married Khadija bintu Khuwaili. She was 40 and he was 25. Muhammad Rasulullah. And she was the mother of his six children. Al-Qasim. She was the mother of Al-Qasim, Zainab, Umm Kulthum. She was the mother of Fatima. She was the mother of Abdullah. As for Ibrahim, he was the son of who? Of Maria al -Kibtiya. So he was, she was the mother of his six children. As we said, Al-Qasim, Zainab, Ruqayya, Umm Kulthur, Fatima, and who? And Abdullah. Abdullah and Fatima. My brothers and sisters, Allah blessed them. The, 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 the family continued, you know, with much, much more blessings in the business. He started having good dreams. Good dreams. And whatever he sees in the dream, if he wakes up in the morning, it will happen. Just as he saw in the dream. This is a sign. And sometimes, when he walks towards a rock, he will hear the sound of the rock saying to him, Assalamu alaikum. He will turn nobody it was the rock he said inni la a'rifu hajaran bi makkah kana yusallimu alayya qabla an ub'ath he said i know a rock in makkah that used to salute me before my prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam so brothers and sisters he start in his 40s now he will be going to the cave outside Mecca, Ghar Hira, to meditate. And one day, in Ramadan, my dear brothers and sisters, here comes the truth, the revelation, the miracle of the unlettered messenger, the miracle of the unlettered prophet. The miracle, the ongoing miracle of Muhammad Rasulullah Al Quran Al Kareem, the first revelation of the Quran. He was meditating in Ghar Hira. What he heard is Iqra. Brothers and sisters, it was Jibreel. Proclaim, read, recite. Ma anabi 
I don't know how to read. He said, فَأَخَذَنِي فَغَطَّنِي حَتَّى بَلَغَ مِنِّ الْجَهْدِ ثُمَّ أَرْسَلَنِي فَقَالَ اِقْرَأْ He said, Jibreel caught me, squeezed me hard until I couldn't bear it anymore. He said, and then he let me go. He said, read. I said, Ma adabi I am not letting. I don't know how to read. Brother says, he says in Islam, he said, فَأَخَذَنِي فَقَطَّنِي الثَّالِثَ تَثُمَّ أَرْسَلَنِي فَقَالْ اِقْرَى بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ خَلَقَ الْإِنسَنَّ مِنْ عَلَقَ اِقْرَى وَرَبُّكَ الْأَكْرَمُ الَّذِي عَلَّمَ بِالْقَلَمُ عَلَّمَ الْإِنسَانَ مَا لَمْ يَعْلَمُ The third time he said, he squeezed me and he let me go and he said to me, اِقْرَى Read. بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ Read in the name of your Lord who created. Subhanallah. This is the revelation that proved to the world the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As he said, سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْأَفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الْحَقِّ أَوَلَمْ يَكْفِ بِرَبِّكَ أَنَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيدٍ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ The one who created خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ بِالْعَلَقَ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ This is one of the proof that science is proving the authenticity of this book and Quran. The ongoing miracle of the unlettered messenger Muhammad Rasulullah خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ بِالْعَلَقَ He created mankind from the clots of blood. اقرأ read وربك الأكرم read recite proclaim for your Lord is the most generous الذي علم بالقلم the one who taught by pen علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم he taught a man a human what he knew not this is the five ayat the first revelation of the ongoing miracle of Muhammad. The ongoing miracle of the unlettered message. You and I, if I don't know how to read, if you don't know how to read, it's not something good for both of us. It's an insult. Excuse me. It's not a good thing. For a person to say, I don't know how to read, and I don't know how to write. But for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's an honor. Yes. Do you know why Allah made him that way? Because they will come and say he wrote the book. So Allah made him like that. He taught the world knowledge. He gave the world knowledge. Whatever knowledge they have, they are taking it from his teachings. And he did not know how to write. He did not know how to read. Because he is a miracle. Brothers and sisters. Allah al insana ma lam ya'lam. Who is the insan here? Like I said, we don't have time. But you can see the insan, the man here is Adam, right? Maybe we say it's Adam. Because Allah said, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا And he taught Adam names of everything. Oh no, you can see an insan here is the prophet himself. وَعَلَّمَكَ مَا لَمْ تَكُنْ تَعْلَمْ Allah taught you what you knew, not what you, what you did not know. Oh no, no. An insan is you and I. Yes, brother. Today, a human being made an aeroplane. Look at the knowledge given to him. Today, a human being made a cell phone. Today, a human being made a car. All these wonderful things. And at the end, who is the teacher? Who taught the knowledge? Allah. Brothers and sisters in Islam. After that, subhanallah, the time is looking at me. Brothers, I will stop here. Because if I enter into the next level, we're not going to finish now. 
and some people have to go to work. So like we said, we're going to be giving peace by peace. Ila Masha Allah, I pray. May Allah give us long life to go more and more. I will start here, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Yes. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم الحمد لله وكفى والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى Brothers and sisters of Islam I will stop here as we said this is the revelation that shook the world the book that Allah challenged the whole mankind and the jinn to produce the like of it and they were not able to and they can never do so Allah said let them produce a recital like it if they are telling the truth were they able it consists of 140 chapters al quran if they say muhammad forged it then allah is saying abi yaquluna iftara are they saying muhammad forged the quran kul fa'tu bi ashri suwari mithlihi muftarayat bring 10 forged surah if you say muhammad forged it that means you can do the same because you are human too bring 10 forged surah were they able to no brother and they can never allah reduce the challenge he said bring one surah to be surah were they able to no quran as it was revealed untouched preserved he said listen to a non-believer he said la yujadu fi tarikhi risalat a non-believer say la yujadu fi tarikhi risalat kitabu baqiya bi hurufihi kamila siwa al-quran alladhi naqalahu muhammad he said, there is, you can never find in history a divine revelation that remains untouched, not changed, except the book that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with, the Quran. Yes, my brothers. This is what we, we will stop here. And next week, inshallah, or when we meet, inshallah, we will continue. We pray that Allah give us a long life. Because sudden death is happening now. You see a brother now, they tell you in an hour he is dead. You see a sister or you speak to a sister in an hour or the next day they say she is dead. So remember, if they are dead, we will die. That's it.